Welcome to another Mastering Minute. I'm Tommy Wiggins, and this week's Mastering Minute is What Does the Song Want to Be? You've listened to it and tweaked at it and uh, lost sleep over it for 100 hours or more, and I'm hearing it for the first time. So I have to try to figure out what your intentions are, uh, because most of the time we don't get notes. Uh, we just get, here, make it sound as good as it can be. Um, and, you know, it really is kind of uh, dependent upon a number of factors. Um, when I listen to a song for the first time, it's genre dependent. Um, what's the style? What's the vibe? Um, is it vocal or is it instrumental? Um, and, uh, you know, where are you going? Because everything has been approved, so you like the mix. It's my job to figure out how to get it to maximize uh, what your intentions are. So if it's a instrumental, um, you know, there's usually an instrumental uh, lyrical or melody to it and a background bed. Uh, and I have to f figure out uh, is the, uh, the, the melody uh, you know, where it should be or should I kind of goose it up a little bit or back it off a little bit uh, within the mix? Uh, what are the pannings? Uh, is it hard left and right? Is, are things in the center? Uh, and with just a little bit of left, right, uh, what frequencies stick out? Um, you know, is the bass too boomy? Is, are the guitars too strident? Uh, is, do the vocals have too much S on it? And uh, is the bass too boomy? Those are usually the things that I, that I look for. Now, if it's a vocal, there are three different things that uh, it could be, in my mind. Uh, so is it a vocal with accompaniment, like a single? where the vocal is really strong and the accompaniment just kind of lays there and lets the vocal do its thing up on the top. Um, is it a vocal in a band? Um, so I would say that would be like a Beatles record. So the vocal isn't too top, uh, but it's kind of in the mix itself. Or is it more of an indie band type of a thing where the vocal is just kind of like no louder than any of the other instruments and you really can't hear the vocal. So these are some of the things that I think about and all mastering engineers think about when we hear your music. And um, uh, it's the first time, you know, we're jazz. We, we hear a lot of different kinds of music and we hear a lot of different genres and we're kind of attuned to what the norm is, what a, you know, a conventional hip hop song is or a conventional folk song or a conventional rock song or a pop song. Uh, but uh, uh, we try to make it the best that it can be. So that's your Mastering Minute. I'm Tommy Wiggins, and uh, mix on.